Hello, I'm Yuri Shlipnev, president and founder of Symbian Inc. We develop and distribute Symbior electromagnetic signal integrity software for pre and post um, layout uh, analysis of PCB and packaging interconnects operating at extreme data rates. This is a demo of crosstalk power flow in differential VS. A differential signal from port 1 goes through uh, differential VS to port 2 and um, uh, unwanted signal appearing at port 3 uh, will be near crosstalk and at port 4 fine crosstalk. We will investigate and compare three configurations, uh, two differential pairs uh, very close to each other, two differential pairs at, at a large distance and uh, two differential pairs at a larger distance uh, with additional stitching views. Let's take a look at the power flow density at 5 gigahertz at, at the closely spaced views. So differential uh, signal plus minus 1 volt applied to um, this side and we can see that the power flows through the whole structure and goes to uh, our wanted location here. At the same time we can observe some amount of power getting to this uh, near end and we can clearly see it. And we are looking at the uh, power flow density. Each arrow here um, depicts uh, uh, length of the uh, arrow is proportional to um, value in dB and it's animated over period shown here and the color also uh, represents the value in dB uh, and normalization is done to the largest value of the power flow density. So the power flow uh, the power flows through the structure to the other end, we can see it here, and gets to another uh, end of this differential pair, and uh, pretty much nothing gets into a far end, so we don't see any arrows here. So let's see what happens at 10 gigahertz. 10 gigahertz we can see more power flowing into this uh, near end VS and we can now st see the power going into find also so we can see those arrows appearing here and still mass of the energy gets through the V at uh, 10 gigahertz. Uh, visualization of power flow density is unique to Symbior software, Symbior THZ specifically, and it allows to investigate such effects in 3D. So this is um, power flow density at 30 gigahertz, so now we, we can see um, a lot of changes here. We can see that uh, we still have some amount of energy getting to near end. But what about the other end? Now we can see a lot of energy getting through uh, to the uh, fire end crosstalk, appearing as a fire end crosstalk, unwanted. So the VS are very closely coupled. So what if you put those VS um, apart? like this and take a look at 5 gigahertz well distance helps now we don't see uh, we can see that the power uh, the differential pair is self localized structure for differential mode so we can see uh, all the energy kind of localized around those differential views and doesn't get to this area and obviously we don't see any crosstalk here. About 10 gigahertz. Well, same thing. Um, the side walls here are electrical, uh, electric, perfect electric conductor boundary conditions which is uh, equivalent to uh, stitching VS all around this area. Uh, this is to localize the problem and make it independent of the boundary conditions. 
So at 30 gigahertz, uh, we start seeing some fine crosstalk. Basically, uh, this is uh, superposition of two different effects, box resonances that appear around 20 gigahertz. And also, uh, VS, uh, differential VS start losing the localization. And we can see it uh, as um, um, if you visualize surface current density, you can see that uh, currents, differential current in those VS goes uh, in the opposite direction. So we can see, and this is logarithmic scale again, so that's why those arrows getting back and forth. But um, at the same time, we can see a lot of current flowing uh, on the planes into this area and uh, uh, in this VS, those are unwanted currents. And um, that's a loss of localization. Uh, so, um, what to do with this? Well, uh, stitch it. If you take a look at 5 gigahertz uh, power flow uh, in, the, in the same um, via um, structures, with the, with the stitching views, views that uh, connect all those reference planes here. So we can see that uh, 5 gigahertz, we didn't see much crosstalk and we don't see it either here. Uh, let's go higher. 10 gigahertz. Nothing. Everything gets through. And 30 gigahertz. A little bit. Much less than in, in the case without uh, stitching VS. And if you take a look at the, let's just close a look, we'll see how it gets. You see kind of shielding it, provides a return pass for those uh, unlocalized uh, components of the current. And if you take a look at the current flow density, you can see that uh, those VS basically uh, help keeping the currents uh, within some area and not getting it into this area of the other pair. So the current flow density, surface current flow density basically complements this uh, uh, view with the power flow density. Finally, let's take a look at, uh, at scattering parameters of uh, how different structures compare. So uh, this is uh, near and um, near crosstalk in uh, closely spaced differential pair. This is fine crosstalk. You can see that, and then uh, box resonances take place here about 20, and then we loses localization over here. And uh, if you put VS apart, you can see that the amount of both near and far cr and crosstalk. Uh, dropped uh, significantly. Again, uh, this is valid uh, at frequencies uh, uh, below 30-35 gigahertz. And if you put stitching VS, well, that helps a lot. Um, what about TDR? Uh, this is uh, closely spaced VS. Well, TDT. Uh, again, this is fine near crosstalk, so we can see that the, much of the crosstalk in closely spaced cases near, and this is fine crosstalk. This is case of um, uh, VS uh, apart, uh, fine crosstalk, near crosstalk, so we can see more fine crosstalk here. And this is a case of uh, um, VS with stitching VS. So the bottom line is um, put things farther apart and localize. Uh, this is the end of this demo. Thank you. To learn more, visit simbirian.com. Application notes, um, webinars, and knowledge base sections. 
or download and try SimBior now. It is available in download section. Thank you.